This video is sponsored by Maydeer e-commerce. Hey everyone, welcome to The Stitchery. You know, it's not that uncommon for embroiderers to get asked what we're cross-stitching, because most people don't realize that embroidery and cross-stitch are two different art forms. They share a lot of the same basic materials and techniques, so it's understandable that there's that mix-up, but the process and the end result are quite different from each other. And I've been embroidering for several years now, but I don't think I've cross-stitched since maybe the age of like eight? I think there was like a class or a group activity that I took and we learned how to cross stitch, but I don't remember finishing a full image, much less like an entire pattern. That's why I was really excited when Media reached out to me about creating a tutorial for their stamped cross stitch kits, which you can find on their website, and I'll link that in the description below, as well as through Amazon. Let's dive right in and see how well this embroiderer handles cross stitch. I selected this beautiful garden path design. It comes in a lovely little package with some instructions on the back for how to use it and even what the different cross stitch types are. So that's really handy. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so here we have the guide for the entire piece. It's split up into several sections and blown up much bigger. So it's really easy to see the little numbers and letters. It also has this main page that shows you the finished piece and holds your key or color guide. So these numbers correlate to each color of thread you'll need and the center row shows that color of thread as well as the letter or number that's going to be on these paper guides. I really like that they also include the DMC number for the floss as well. There's plenty of thread included in the kit, but just in case you lose some or you know, the dog decides thread is his new favorite snack, you would be able to match the colors and get some replacement thread. Up here we have two cross stitch needles included and then it looks like we've got three cards of floss for this piece with each thread labeled with a number. Nice and organized. You want to make sure that you're keeping all of the floss stored on these cards whenever you're not using it, especially when you have several similar shades of one color like all of these greens. And here is the fabric itself. Cross stitch is traditionally sewn on a material called Aida. It's basically a type of canvas with this really specific open weave. So you have all of these little holes perfectly spaced out. You also don't need to use an embroidery hoop or a frame while sewing this because the fabric is fairly stiff and it can't stretch whatsoever. And now if you're wondering why the colors of this design look so dang weird, it's to help the stitchers. With contrasting colors, you don't have to go cross-eyed staring as you sew. Your stitching should cover all of this background up pretty well, but just in case any odd colors are poking through, this entire design will wash off. Once you finish stitching, just soak it in water for 20 to 30 minutes and then let it dry. Okay, let's talk about these keys down here. This key on the bottom tells us which floss goes with which symbol or color. The bottom key is for full stitches and the side key is for back stitches. So all we have to do is find the symbol or the color on the fabric here and then match it to the number of the floss color we should be sewing over that area. Now don't get confused with the colored squares on this key. These colors are the floss colors. So the lavender square here is floss number nine, whereas the lavender symbol on the fabric correlates to floss number 10, which we can see here is actually yellow. Seems a little bit complicated, but it really isn't. Just give yourself a few minutes to go over the keys and really figure out what's what before you get started. I can start pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to start with this large vase of white roses. First, I found the same location on my guide. The rest is on the other side here. Let's start with the light green color, which is marked as 21, both on the design and in the key. Consulting our floss numbers on the cards, we see that 21 is this very nice blue color. We can see here on the thread card that this design has been marked as a 14 count. That means we'll separate each piece of floss, which is made up of six separate strands into thirds using only two strands of floss at a time. If it was an 11 count, it would be marked right over here and you would be separating your thread in half using three strands at a time. I just wanna cover each little square of light green with an X of thread. I can do one square at a time, or if there's a whole row of the same color, I can go all the way down that row, creating just one side of the X, then come back in the other direction, filling in that second diagonal line on each square to finish it off. First row done, only a couple thousand more to go. Time to turn on a podcast, settle into my favorite chair and do some creative relaxing. So 
So if you're looking for a new hobby to keep your hands busy, or you're interested in stitched crafts but you're not sure how to get started, cross stitch is a really good option. A stamped kit like this is especially great, firstly because everything you need is included, so you don't have to worry about running to the store to find the right thread or pick up a hoop. If you're like me, you need to be doing something with your hands while binge watching your new favorite TV shows. These patterns are meant to take a month or more to stitch, so one kit will last through quite a few series, and in the end, you'll have this gorgeous work of art, worthy of framing on the wall. Big thanks to Madeer for sponsoring this video and giving me the chance to try out a new art form. Madeer is currently holding its semi-annual sale with up to 50% off of its products, as well as free shipping within the US. Check out the link in the description of this video and use code STITCHERY to get an additional 10% off of your entire purchase at checkout. If you're outside of the US, Madeer offers some digital products like PDF patterns, or you can find Madeer cross stitch kits on Amazon. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to The Stitchery for more explorations of textile arts and crafting. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.